We are excited to talk with you today about our data infrastructure roadmap. It is no secret that data has become a critical part of every business. On one end of the spectrum, we're seeing the most advanced tech companies set up sophisticated data teams, leveraging state-of-the-art statistical techniques. And on the other side, legacy industries are just beginning to invest in their data stacks to power new, innovative product experiences. To really understand the excitement and activity in this space, we want to first dig into the history of what's happened. We believe four major trends have driven new entrepreneurial opportunities as startups reimagine the modern cloud data stack. First is the growth and the adoption of cloud software. As more workloads move to the cloud, data has become sprawled across the different software systems and apps that companies use. This has led to the need for more flexible architectures for working with data, regardless of where that data is coming from or where it's going. Cloud-based data warehouses like Snowflake and Bessemer's own Firebolt are the foundation for these modular cloud-based data architectures. Second is the increase in the volume of accessible data. The shift to the cloud has resulted in a dramatic rise in data volumes and expanded the number of potential insights to be gained. Before this, it was easy for enterprises to stay up to date with the right information and analyses. But now, enterprises need flexible and seamless connections with their various data sources, such as SaaS apps, databases, and web applications. Third, data is now a key differentiator for modern enterprises. For example, large tech companies such as ByteDance and Netflix have invested heavily into their data stacks to serve personalized content and automate operations for many years. As historically non-tech companies enter the age of software, they too are looking to leverage data and improve user experience and empower users in different functional departments, ranging from product and marketing to finance and operations so these teams can access data to make strategic decisions. Lastly, the demand for talent in data-driven fields has increased dramatically. We're seeing a massive appetite from companies to hire and build out data teams. However, despite the number of opportunities, there actually aren't enough data scientists and engineers available, and the race to recruit the best talent is more competitive than ever. Given the current jobs market, these teams are striving to be as productive as possible in order to achieve their goals. Many companies are committed to pouring more resources in to drive additional output. As a result, data professionals are constantly looking for software to increase their productivity and are testing the limits of existing software to solve increasingly complex data problems. All of these factors point to a new reality. Tech companies need reliable, easy to use products to empower data teams to work smarter and produce insights at a faster rate. In the past, an enterprise data team may have been an afterthought relegated to using solutions that were purchased by an executive without their input. But as data teams command more respect and deliver great ROI to companies, they're looking to adopt best of breed, more specialized tools across the entire value chain. As a result, we are seeing legacy infrastructure often thought as a single monolith now being broken apart and replaced with new state-of-the-art solutions to build an interwoven modern data stack. After talking with founders and data teams building a better data stack, we've identified five key theses our team is really excited about. The first is the rising empowerment of data scientists. As data volume grows, the people who are working with and creating analyses will ultimately drive product and purchasing decisions themselves. Just as we've seen businesses become more developer-centric in the past decade, we know that data scientists will also hold the same gravitational pull in their organizations. Despite their growing influence, data scientists are often tasked with some of the most tedious work. That could look like setting up infrastructure that prevents them from working with data, building sophisticated models, or extracting meaningful insights. Now, with products such as Coiled, Notable, and DBT, Data scientists have more autonomy over the tools and environments they already know and love to keep them well-equipped in their jobs. Our second thesis is centered on abstracting complexity away from data engineering. Despite growing awareness of how important data is to organizations, there's still significant friction to leveraging and accessing the benefits of data. Data scientists and business users often have to wait days or even weeks for data engineers to build the right pipelines and operationalize their data. Even when these pipelines are developed, they can often break or turn out to be less scalable than initially thought. Products such as Prefect, Meroxa, and HighTouch greatly improve upon the status quo by helping to streamline workflows, enable real-time integrations, and establish a coordination layer to deliver data to the right tools and the right business users. Third, data governance, monitoring, and observability are top of mind for all companies. Why? It is easier than ever to store and query data, which means that companies often collect an abundance of it without knowing exactly where it came from or if it's even reliable. New regulations such as GDPR and CCPA, along with highly publicized breaches, have forced companies to institute better management practices, policies, and software tools that institute control over data. 
We are bullish on the broader category of governance, monitoring, and observability products, including Big ID, Okera, and Monte Carlo, that ensure data privacy and quality as it moves throughout an organization. Fourth, we're seeing an emergence of a new type of business intelligence and data analytics software company. While there are several notable examples of large, successful companies in the BI space already, most of these products have been used to produce static analyses. As consumers demand more responsive and faster experiences, there's been a push towards using data in real time as it is generated. Platforms such as Firebolt, Imply, and Starburst help companies power real-time automated features for people who depend on these insights to make decisions. For example, professionals in HR need quick visibility into pay equity data through their software, needing to be up to date with the latest compensation figures company-wide so that adjustments can be made when needed, not after it's too late. Lastly, we're exploring infrastructure to accelerate the adoption of machine learning. After years of promise, we are starting to see the early phase of adoption for tools here. To be clear, it is still very early in terms of broad market adoption for advanced ML techniques, but the most forward-thinking companies are developing their own homegrown solutions to label data, manage machine learning models, and track the performance of their code. We are excited by the potential of tools across the machine learning lifecycle that not only allow practitioners to focus on developing models for business impact, but expand the market and allow companies of all industries and sizes to leverage these advanced statistical techniques. These five themes guide where and how we invest. And after evaluating various companies across the stack, we've also identified a set of characteristics that the most successful data infrastructure companies have. The first quality we look for are companies that have strong ecosystem partnerships and integrations. Interoperability is essential in the data space. With dozens, if not hundreds of new tools across the stack, new vendors have to work seamlessly with the products data teams already use if they want to achieve any real adoption. Companies such as Fivetran embody this, building one of the best ELT products in the world with an extreme amount of compatibility and interoperability with the Snowflake ecosystem. They invested and benefited from co-selling with Snowflake, reaching rapid adoption as a result. This is becoming customary in the space, as initial traction for these companies is often determined by whether the company is not only well integrated, but also a close partner to the best of breed platforms like Snowflake, Databricks, the major cloud providers, and others. The second characteristic is community leadership. The best companies usually start with strong, bottoms-up adoption through ties to an open source community. For example, DBT is one of the fastest growing data infrastructure projects allowing data transformation in the warehouse. DBT leveraged the pre-existing, very large community of SQL users and created one of the most vibrant Slack communities in the world to educate users on the project and its value. Introducing a new tool often means not only working closely with existing communities, but also fostering new communities around projects and philosophies of how to work with data. Three, we look for solutions that remove friction in the daily workflow. Like their developer counterparts, Data scientists are eager to outsource non-core tasks so they can focus on the work that drives their product's competitive advantage. For example, the data science workbook Notable puts the usual Jupyter notebook and powers it in the cloud. Historically, companies have had to build these solutions internally. Notable removes this friction by allowing data scientists to utilize the notebooks they already know and love without needing to manage or worry about the infrastructure behind them. The fourth characteristic we look for is easing collaboration between roles. Data work is an inherently collaborative process, and data teams value tools that make it easier to identify problems, share results, and use data to make business decisions. For example, Transform Data enables this by providing a shared interface where companies can define their most critical metrics. Instead of going back and forth on Zoom or Slack, figuring out what a metric actually means, Transform Data provides a catalog to guarantee any business user has the context for their data and the most accurate metric for a question they may be trying to answer. By providing this kind of transparency and insight in a self-service way, data teams can focus on the higher value problems that improve business performance. It's an understatement to say that the cloud has changed the way we all live, work, interact, and of course, build software. So it should come as no surprise that data is a key part of that transformation as well. We hope that these theses and principles serve as guides to understanding the new infrastructure solutions and what gets us so excited about investing in this space. There's no question that in the future, we will all feel the benefits that come from more granular and rapid access to data, and perhaps some of the pitfalls too. But we believe we're still in the early innings of a revolution in the data stack, and at the very beginning of adopting the tools that will make this bright future a reality.